Hello and welcome to a new video guys, my cursor is bugged, what? So as you know, I love Linux, I switched to it uh, like quite a bit ago, like 4 months ago But yeah, um, I just bought Black Ops 2 today and uh, God damn! <coughs> right. So I just bought Black Ops 2 today and that means I have Black Ops 1, 2 and 3, the trilogy Which are like actually peak FPS, like the best. Also, uh, look at this shit, bro. This is insane. Does this mean we have simple stickers? I I think yeah, no. Uh, he's washed. Though he's washed, like unironically washed. Phase are washed too. But I think he'll be maybe 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 anyway, uh, we need to download plutonium. Obviously. Um, right here so you just click here download and download plutonium.exe now i have to give credit where credit is due because this video is basically a video this video is basically a video guide of this text by soy capi uh, which i would have figured it by my by myself it's inspired by it by it but mine is going to be different because i'll show you right now um this is going to be mainly for arch so again we've downloaded plutonium.exe now what do we need next is um to um search proton up qt a u r so you basically need to search for this and uh, get the exact wording for it and then obviously we're gonna open the terminal and just obviously install it with the a u r so i'm just gonna do this for me i already have it installed so it'll be like instant or whatever so as you can see 0 0.47 it's just a tiny update but yeah I can just you're just gonna wait for it to install and yeah for me it just updated it because I probably yeah it just updated so it's way faster and then you should have it uh, on your PC and open it also I should mention that you can find it from the discovery store I think But yeah, uh, it should be here too. And then you need to click on add version and add whatever you want, then install, and then it will install. And then uh, we go onto our Steam. We go into games and we click on add a non Steam game to my library. And we are gonna add the exe for plutonium and add selected programs. We're also gonna it to have it here and I'm just gonna name it plutonium launcher and yeah we, there's a quick thing you can do so so I've just downloaded the cover I'm gonna say set custom background and there we go and then I'm just gonna search for one more thing. And yeah, I've just hit this as the custom logo. And okay, this is downloading quite a bit, so we're gonna wait. And uh, yeah, now we need to do one more step right click on it, properties then click on compatibility uh, make sure to check this and then select proton ge 9.27 then we're just going to click on play and wait a second this should boot up there we go and it should say downloading files now we just have to wait okay after a few minutes uh this will prompt you to log in. Obviously, you need to enter your credentials, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so after you logged in, the launcher should be fine. And then you're just going to find properties for your game. So you're just going to go to installed files. Then you're going to copy the directory. Then just click on setup. I guess I can ask ChatGPT right now to do it for me. Ok, 
Okay, so we're just gonna And there we go. This worked, it's and now I think if we click on play it should work fine. Let's see. And yeah, it, it did work. Okay. So we are here in the online. So oh my god, I have to do my settings right now. Oh my god, the sensitivity sensitivity is insane, but yeah, this works just fine. It's really really cool. And yeah, it moving on to Black Ops 1, which we're gonna do right now. We can T5 uh, multiplayer zombies, it doesn't matter. And then uh, again we're just gonna go on Black Ops properties and um installed files and we're just gonna copy this and then ask ChatGPT again to reverse it so you can copy this prompt then <coughs> we'll go back here and go on here make sure you're on Z drive or whatever and it should work There we go. Okay, so we are in game right now. Uh, it works fine. I have to change the language back to English. Uh, and this is 4x3 because I bugged it because I don't know Russian. I just know Yarnet or something. But yeah, this is... The sensitivity... Sensitivity is... In sync. This works fine. 4x3 and 16, uh, 4 by 3 in like 16 by 9 resolution is actually like this is hella stretched, it's insane. But yeah. Uh, 